So how to handle gay taxi and gay kami together? Uh, this is a question which uh, most of the students might be asking because uh, it is a time where the student will be deciding whether to go for uh, ME alone or XE alone or combinedly with ME and XE. If you ask me, um, you can go for both the papers also, there is no doubt, there is no issues in that. But you need to have some proper strategy. Okay, so how can I parallelly prepare gate XE and gate ME so that I can I can make sure that I perform in both the paper proper. Okay, so this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. Let us start the video. So first of all, let me just go through the gate ME syllabus here. So gate ME syllabus, uh, we have Engineering Mathematics C. In both gate ME and XE, we have general aptitude which is in common, okay? And other than that, there are some things which is going to be in common and there are some things which is going to be extra in XE and also something which is going to be extra in ME. So first first thing, uh, if you are planning to prepare for uh, gate ME and XE parallelly, you need to make sure that uh, you understand the syllabus properly, okay? So in gate ME, we have engineering mathematics. There are uh, some topics in that, the basic like linear algebra, probability, Differential calculus, integral calculus, vector calculus, differential equation, complex numbers, and numerical methods. And coming to applied mechanics and design, we have engineering mechanics, mechanics of matrix is nothing but strength of materials, common vibrations, and uh, machine design. And coming to fluid mechanics and thermal science, fluid mechanics and hydraulics is there, thermodynamics, applied thermodynamics, heat transfer. Now, similarly, for manufacturing, material science, casting, forming, welding, I'm just skimming over it because these are something which is already available with you. Machining, metal cutting, non traditional machine cross metallurgy, same. And then we have industrial engineering, which is uh, PBC, inventory, and OR. Okay. So these are the combined, combinedly, a syllabus of gate ME. Okay. Now, talking about gate XE, okay, the thing is, most of the syllabus are going to be common. So if you consider gate ME, I have already given you the syllabus. Gate XE, in the sense, general aptitude is going to be common, as I said. And then Mathematics will be there, but in mathematics in gate XE there are some extra topics. For example, partial differential equations. We need to discuss in detail about partial differential equation. In gate ME, we will be discussing about PDE, but a very little part only. But when it comes to XE, there are in detail discussion has to be done. There are different methods to solve PDE. Okay, so those things we will be discussing it specifically for gate XE and sequences and series. And we will be focusing on limits of two variable function. And uh, there are some other small, small topics okay, that will be included in XE. The main, if you ask me the major topic, the major difference between gate XE and ME, um, as I said that it is partial differential equation and sequence and series. Other than that, all the other topics are going to be uh, smaller topics only. Okay, so that is one thing, gate XE when it comes to XE, A, that is mathematics. Aptitude, it is common for both, anyways, we need to prepare. Next, B, E, okay, you need to choose your combination, whether you are going to go with fluid mechanics, B in the sense fluid mechanics, E is thermodynamics. So whether you are going to go with fluid mechanics and thermodynamics or fluid mechanics and solid mechanics or solid mechanics and thermodynamics. But the question is, or the fact here was, most of the students, mechanical students, will prefer choosing thermo and fluid or solid mechanics and thermodynamics. Majority, they won't prefer, uh, prefer going for uh, fluid and solid combined. Okay, right. Any any choice it is up to you. It's up to it's completely up to you. Whichever whichever you want to decide. Now coming to uh, paper B, fluid mechanics. It's like fluid mechanics paper, gate XE paper will have everything which is present in gate ME. Okay, fluid mechanics, whatever the topic which is present in gate ME, everything will be there in XE. Okay, everything in from fluid mechanics of gate ME will be there in gate XE. But hydraulics won't be included. Hydraulics is not required for gate XE. Okay, that is the first thing but other other uh, like excluding hydraulics we have few ex few extra topics so in mathematics also there are few extra topics which i already said pd and sequence and series are major some other minor topics and in fluid mechanics also there are some extra topics such as navier stokes equations uh and transport theorem and uh what is that potential flows okay some in detail concepts on lift drag etc okay those are the things which will be included in xe but it is not required for any. Okay, those are extra topics. Okay, in XE. Now coming to uh, what is that? Solid mechanics. See, solid mechanics is a combination of uh, strength of materials plus engineering mechanics 
plus vibrations. Okay, stoichiometry is engineering mechanics plus vibration, which indicates, which which means the complete topic of engineering mechanics, which is there in gate and meet, was there was included in XCD. Okay. And the complete topics of mechanics of materials, okay, complete topics of mechanics of material which is present in gate ME is included in gate XE. And vibration alone, Tom is not there, okay, Tom is not there. So basically, D is a little bit, uh, what, is, what is that, a little bit bigger topics because it has strength of materials, it has engineering mechanics and also vibration, but the syllabus is exact same to same. Whatever you study for ME, the same syllabus will be there for XE. But it is a little bit more. If you consider FM, syllabus was less, but there are some extra topics. But XED, solid mechanics, syllabus is more, but it doesn't have any extra topic. Whatever you study for any, that is what is going to be there in XE also. And coming to E, thermodynamics, okay, it includes this thermodynamics, that is XCE. XCE, it includes basic thermodynamics which we study in uh, gate ME and also apply thermodynamics which we study in gate ME. But in applied thermodynamics there are a few topics such as uh, gas refrigeration system and uh, and also that uh, compressors, uh, reciprocating compressor, axial compressors, those are not there in XE. But that has to be studied for ME, okay, those are not there in XE but that has to be studied in ME. But other than that, okay, those, those topics other than that uh, axial compressors and uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Reciprocating compressors uh, and also the gas compression cycle, gas absorption, and gas, uh, um, gas, gas compression cycle, etc. Other than that, all the other topics which is present in thermo and applied thermo, it is there in XE. Okay, it is there in XE. Uh, and also there are few things like if you consider uh, uh, ME, they won't concentrate more on what is that? Um, questions which is uh, questions which are going to come from thermodynamic relations mixtures of gases there will be questions but the questions will be rare lesser but when it comes to uh, xc paper those questions are going to have little bit higher weightages okay the, the, we can expect some good quality questions from those areas okay right so now i hope you would have understood the base syllabus between gate me and gate xc now how can i plan my preparation for both me and xc see if you are planning for gate 2024 then you have ample amount of time for preparing and then revising okay for preparation and also for revision if you are planning for 2023 then you have exact time which you need to utilize properly in order to make sure you get you prepare both ME and XE uh, effectively okay, it is something like first you need to decide one okay first you need to you need to decide one thing what is your first preference whether your first preference is gate ME or gate XE whether you are planning for, uh, whether you are keeping your gate XC as your second option or you are keeping your gate ME as your second option, you need to decide it first. Suppose if you are keeping your gate ME as, as your first priority and gate XC as your second priority, then this is my, this is what your strategy should be. You first don't worry about gate XC. Okay, if you are, if you are keeping ME as your preference and XC as your second preference, first of all, initially when you are starting your pr preparation, don't worry about XC. Concentrate completely on gate ME, completely on gate ME, focus on your, uh, what is that, focus on your uh, uh, concepts, clarities, practice and uh, previous equations, test series, practice sessions, etc, question bank, whatever, focus completely on your gate ME, okay, periodical revision, short notes, etc, but give your 100 percentage to that, okay, gate ME initially. So that itself, that itself automatically covers 70 to 80 percentage of XC syllabus. As I already discussed in detail about your uh, syllabuses, so that itself will cover 70 to 80 percent of XE syllabus. So when you come for gate XE, you will have less work only to do. Okay, right. And that how you should plan that. Suppose if you are planning for gate 2023, you need to plan it such a way that you complete that ME syllabus by November end. Because if you extend after that, it will become difficult for you. Uh, even even well before that is, I'm just keeping it in mind that you are starting your preparation now in the month of May or in the month of April. You are starting your preparation now. By by keeping that in mind, I am giving you this plan. If you already started your preparation, try to try to end your gate and your preparation some one month or uh, uh, twenty days before whatever I give to you. Okay, so November end is the something like you can uh, you can cover gate and me fully if you are starting now. Okay, if you are planning to start now. I am saying completing your preparation of gate ME means completely. 
test series, previous year question, short notes, everything whatever is required for your gate and preparation. So after that, you have to just there is after after this uh, when when you think about gate, I mean, it should be like you need to go for mock test revision only. Okay, there is test and revision only after this after this number and so and this point should be the point where you need to complete entire ME syllabus then what you can do in the month of December you can uh, you can go for additional topics of uh, uh, what is that additional additional topics of gate if you are planning to write FM then obviously there are more additional topics in FM and mathematics so those two things you need to concentrate and also few topics of uh, what is that thermodynamics you need to concentrate okay and when it comes to XC, the level of questions are going to be a little bit higher than that of ME. So first, you need to practice the previous equations of XC properly. Okay, properly you need to practice the previous equations of XC. And that I am giving it in the month of December, not complete month. You, you don't need to take the complete month. You can take from 20 days or 50 days, depends on your, depends on uh, how you prepare. And coming to test series, it is a must. Okay, if you are going to take either ME or XC, test series is must. Okay, right. Now, coming to this additional topics in previous year question, Engrels Engineering Academy itself offering a course which covers all the additional topics, okay, which covers all the additional topics of uh, fluid mechanics, engineering mathematics and thermodynamics and also it covers the previous year question, okay, something like around 80 percentage of all the previous year questions which we, what is that, um, until year 2020, okay, so what actually it, it has we will be having all the topics such as PD, sequence and series and uh, as I discussed uh, fluid mechanics and fluid mechanics that potential flows, Reynolds transport theorem, navier stokes equation etc. entirely will be included in that course and previous equations which is like around 80% of the questions. See repetitive questions won't be solved. For example, from the same topic same type of question has been asked in 2 years or 3 years. Out of the 3 questions I will be solving it only 1 question. Okay, So demos and all you can find out the demos in playlist. Okay, Once you check it. If you are interested, you can go for it. And with the help of that additional topic course, you will be able to cover uh, the entire additional topics within a month or within 15 to 20 days, I can guarantee. Okay, these two things you can do it within 15 to 20 days. Okay. And similarly, get XC test series, we have separate test series. You can just check that also. XC A, B, B, E. Okay, all four paper, that is all four sections are available. You can check it. Now, this is all about um, taking ME as your preference and keeping XC as your secondary. Now coming to taking get XC as your preference and get ME as your secondary. First thing you need to decide out of this three which uh, which one you are going to choose. Okay, you choose anything either BNE, BMB or DNE, it's up to you. But what I will recommend, if you are planning to write get ME, see if you are focusing only on get XC, then you go with the choice. Whatever choice you want, you just go with the choice. But if you plan for XC and also ME, then when you are starting your get XC, when you are starting your gate XC, don't keep any choice in your mind. What I was, what I meant, you prefer XCA mathematics, XCB fluid mechanics, XCD solid mechanics, and also XCE thermodynamics. You prefer all. You prefer all. So by completing that everything A, B, and D, and E, okay, all as I said, A, B, D, and E, you will able to complete around 50 percentage of your ME syllabus. Okay, around 50 percent. As I already marked you to see that engineering mechanics, mechanics of materials, vibrations. Fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, supply thermodynamics, mathematics, and also aptitude. Okay, we should not forget aptitude and also aptitude. So around 50 percent of ME syllabus will be done. So major topics which will be missing is this manufacturing and steel, and of course theory of machines, which is a very important subject, and heat transfer. Okay, that is what around our, another 50, another 45 to 50 percent topics will be missing. That you need to focus after completing it. Okay, after completing it, I will approximately say that in a month, August mid, okay, or August end. You will able to complete this. You can start the balance in the month of uh, August end and the September to cover the balance things. I am keeping that you are starting your preparation now. Okay, I am keeping in mind that you are starting your preparation now. And once when you are covering the complete syllabus of Gate XC, make sure that you take test series sincerely. You cover all the additional topics. See, in, in if you keep ME as your preference, additional topic should be at the end. But if you keep XC as your preference, all the additional topic should be covered at the beginning itself. Okay, at the beginning itself. So all the additional topics and uh, the normal whatever the topics which is there. So everything has to be done and then you can jump to the extra topics. Okay, by doing it, you are already covering 50% of ME. Then only you are jumping to the, jumping to the extra topics which is present in the ME. Okay, 
and uh, as a given you from August mid to December, you will be able to cover the extra topics of ME. And when you are focusing on ME, you have to make sure that XC syllabus is XC syllabus was completely over. So you are focusing only on revision and test series of XC and extra topics of uh, ME, and then you are parallelly revising ME topics. Okay. So I hope you got it. And uh, again, as I said, when you are doing extra things uh, of uh, XC, you need to take test series for XC here. And when, when you are doing extra topics for uh, ME, you need to take test series for ME. At least try to take mock test. If you are not able to take, go with subject test and topic test, at least. But I will suggest you to go for entire entire test series, entire both C and ME. Okay. So I hope the plan was clear. Okay, how to handle it. But handling it is completely in your hand. So execution was completely in your hand. Okay. So if if you have any other queries, if you if there was anything. Uh, any questions which you need to ask about gate ME preparation or gate XC preparation, you can uh, comment below. Okay, so I will be answering to it. I will be directly answering to it. And uh, the second thing was, as I was saying, we have both ME test series, XC test series, additional topic courses, and also we have full ME course and full XC course. So those who are interested, okay, they they can just check out our uh, website, and uh, you can take our national scholarship test also, which is to be conducted. Okay. Right, so that's it. Um, I hope this video will be very helpful for you for both your gate, XC, and ME preparation. Okay, all the best and thank you.